Why hello there all you lovely members of the fragrance fam. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today I'll be your guide for making gorgeous, fragrant, and aesthetically pleasing candles. For anyone who's looking to up their candle game or just starting to make some, this video is for you. So today let's use our own version of Bridgewater's Candle Sweet Grace fragrance oils to make some lovely little container candles. Start by getting your wax melted down. This is Pro Blend 600, a great parasol blend for container candles. I'm using a wax melting pot, which is great for getting a lot of wax melted down quickly. Turn it up to medium high heat to kickstart the process. When picking a wax for your container candles, you'll want one that has good adhesion and a high fragrance load. While it's melting, go ahead and grab your candle vessels and get them wicked up. Use a wick guide to determine which is the best for your candle based on its size, fragrance load, and wax makeup. I'm using CD8 wick, which is going to be perfect for me. Adhere it to the center of your jars using a wick sticker tab or a dab of hot glue. Let's check back in on the wax, shall we? It seems to be all melted down, which means we're ready to move on. Check the temperature using the thermometer to see if you can add in the fragrance. 185 degrees Fahrenheit is pretty good temperature to stick to if you want to get the most out of your candle's throw. Here's our version of Sweet Grace by Bridgewater Candle. Add it in and insert well so the fragrance will distribute through the wax for an evenly burning candle. Now turn off the heat and let your candle wax cool before you fill each vessel to reduce the risk of sinkholes and wet spots. The best pour temperature varies based on wax type, but I like to stick to a range of about 150 to 160 degrees. Keep those wicks nice and centered using a pair of chopsticks or bow tie wick holders like me. Let them cool and harden in a temperature controlled environment. When you check back in on them, after a couple hours you'll start to see how they turned out. Here's one of my finished sweet grace candles. The intricate jars really give a sophisticated look and all the meticulous work we did to avoid the sinkholes paid off. You might be excited to get your first burn going, but be patient and give some time to fully cure. The more time the wax has to settle, the better the burn and the hot throw. Now let's go ahead and trim up our wicks to about one quarter of an inch. These candles smell absolutely amazing. Our version of Sweet Grace by Bridgewater Candle was the perfect fragrance choice. Remember, we drop 10% off coupons for some of our best selling fragrances, including this one, every week. Check out our web store at afi-usa.com shop to sign up for our newsletter to be the first to know about them. To become an official member of our fragrance fam, subscribe to our channel, ring that bell icon, and follow us on our socials linked down below. I hope you enjoyed making some candles with me in the AFI Project Lab today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!